played a season high in snaps last Thursday and obviously played very well. Do you think you're a guy who plays better if you play more? Uh, or is, do you think there's any correlation between the two? Or no? um, yeah, it felt good to be out there. Um, I think any time you can get out there and feel the momentum, uh, like the way the game's going and um, being able to adapt, you know, being able to read the tackle set and get into a groove, I think, um, for me personally, it makes me play better. And, um, yeah, so I say, yeah, it does help. Have you been happy with the way this, this year been going? I mean, you've been playing well. Obviously, you, you, you had more, you know, box score type numbers last year. You're starting to build those in terms of sacks, force fumbles, stuff like that. Is that a measure to you of how well you're playing, you know, if you fill the stack category or not necessarily? Uh, not necessarily. There's so many other things that go into um, this game. Um, <clears throat> you know, sacks are great and all, but ultimately that's, it's a team sport and um, just doing your job. Sometimes um, it's dropping into coverage or doing a certain responsibility to get another guy free or um, just all the little things within the defense that um, maybe a lot of guys don't recognize. So um, I'd say ultimately it's a team game and yeah. Is your job more fun when the defense is blitzing like crazy like it did against Baltimore? Um, <clears throat> you know, any way I can be out there on the field and help this team win, um, it's fun. So, um, and when we're playing at a high level and having fun and executing and um, everybody's doing their part, it's, you know, it's, it's going to be fun getting that win. So, any way we can do that. How much different is this defense now with the safeties blitz? And I know you guys blitz safeties last year. For you primarily because you have such a versatile job in terms of the amount of things that you can and do going forward, going backwards, setting the edge. How much different is it when the safeties are coming and you have other responsibilities? Right. No, that's what's great about this defense is, you know, everybody on this defense is versatile and um, can do different, a lot of different things. And, um, you know, we have guys that can drop, that can rush off the edge or um, rush inside and um, do different types of things. Um, so, I mean, when you have a versatile defense and can do all that stuff, it makes it, makes it hard to prepare for and, um, you know, and everybody just trusting their, their keys and doing their assignment. Are you sensing the defense maybe getting close to, to its 2020 form like in the last couple of weeks, more so than it did early in, in the year? Yeah, uh, I think, you know, everybody's just playing with a lot of, of confidence right now, and um, we're trusting what the coaches are teaching us. And, um, you know, I see everybody coming in day in and day um, to get better. So um, ultimately that's the, that's the goal, and um, you see guys working towards that. Brian Sorrento always says day by day, but I wanted to ask you personally, do you see the standings? Do you see maybe a possibility with the calendar that's left for you guys? Uh, I don't look too far into that. I, you know, you take it day, day by day and week by week. Um, the only game that matters is the next week, and uh, if we don't win that week, it, at the end of the day, nothing matters. It doesn't matter. How much easier is it to come to work when you're riding a two-game winning streak as opposed to a seven-game losing streak? Uh, it makes it a lot easier, but you know, still at the end of the day, we got a long ways to go, and um, you know, we're on a two-game winning streak. But um, you know, <clears throat> at the end of the day, those—that's the past now, and um, we got to go out and get the next game. This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show!